good morning. We are going to take these first few seconds just to breathe in and breathe out and to center ourselves. 704, y'all know I like to do this in class. Sometimes I'll put some meditation music on, I'll dim the lights and just give us some time to just come together as whole and to get rid of all the negative energy that we have and all the anxiety that we have. So we're going to do a couple of deep breaths in and out before we, before we officially begin this lesson. So now we're going to start. Breathe in. Breathe out, in through the nose, out through the mouth, breathe in. And, and out once more. And out. That's my cat, Daryl. Sorry that he's interrupting. I'm gonna cut the meditation music off. So we're going to jump into this lesson. Let me point this up so so you can see what we have up here. You guys, y'all know I'm a little old, old but young, and I'm still trying to figure out all of this stuff. Let me bring it in a little bit closer. Um, okay. All right. And I think y'all, okay. Don't worry about this one. This is for another class. So good morning, you all. Good morning, 704. So before you look at this video and you listen to what I'm saying and do what I'm instructing, the first thing I need you to do is to look at the wit and wisdom on the gold knowledge um, that is on Google Classroom. So when you look at that, in that video from Wit and Wisdom, it's a read aloud. <sighs> so when you're doing that, you'll be able to understand what's going on in the text, which is Fever of 1793. So before we can go into our notice and wonder and go over some of the terminology that we have, the first thing I need y'all to do is to look at that. So that way you can at least understand what's going on in the, in the book, in the novel, okay? Good. So if you haven't seen it, I'll see you in about, what, 20 minutes? <laughs> and if you have, welcome. So the first thing I want to say is what our objective is for this lesson. The objective is that students will be able to formulate questions and observations about Fever 1793 by completing a what? A notice and wonder chart. So that's going to be our focus, okay? And so again, you can't really complete this unless you understand what's happening or know what's going on in Fever. So please go and listen to that read aloud. So after you done read what's going on, you've already completed a mini uh, notice and wonder, or at least have thought of some notices and some wonders while you were looking at the video. So let's try to think of some. Hmm. Notice, what's something that you noticed in Fever from chapter one? Huh, let's take a second to think. Well, for some of you, you may struggle with trying to put some of your observations down. So let's start with some of the basics. Characters, are there any characters that were mentioned that wasn't really talked about too much or into too detail, too much detail? I thought of one if you haven't. Polly. There's a character named Polly that was mentioned, and I didn't quite know who or what she was. So let's put Polly down. Um as a wonder. So this is something I'm wondering. Who is Polly? Who is Polly? That may be one of my wonders, and it may be one of yours as well. And if that wasn't one of your wonders, you may have something else. So that's fine. On an assignment that I have in Google Classroom, you can put all of your notices and all of your wonders. 
So you're able to do this yourself once you look at one of the other assignments, right? But again, after you first look at that video from Wit and Wisdom, right? A notice. What's something that we notice? Huh. Again, let's take a minute to think. Hmm. What's something that I noticed about this book and about chapter one? Hmm. You may put, I've noticed, and you can't use these two, by the way, because you can't use that. This is the example, right? So I actually found out later on in chapter one who Polly was. So if I want to figure that out, I might put, oh, I noticed that Polly is actually, and if you again look at the video, you'll find out Polly is a servant. Polly is a servant, S-E-R-V-A-N-T, servant. A servant is typically someone who is of lesser class, well, not typically is, of lesser class, a social class or status, and works for somebody else and tends to their wants and tends to their needs. So for me, this may be a wonder, but if I've already read the entire chapter and I know what's going on, this wonder may actually just be a notice. And I've noticed that Polly is a servant, right? So now I'm going to have you all complete the rest of this by putting maybe about two to four more notices and wonders. And you would just jot them down and I'll see on my end from Google Classroom. Another thing that I do want to mention is a word that we have um, in our lesson. So this is a word that's mentioned and I hope you all can, yeah, you can see it. Crisis, C-R-I-S-I-S. -I -S. It's a word that's mentioned in the book, a word that's mentioned in our module, a, a word that's mentioned in the video I told you all to look at earlier. So what's a crisis? A crisis definition is a time of serious difficulty or danger. Crisis, a time of serious difficulty or danger, right? So anytime you're in a really, really, really scary situation that's like, wow, I need to call the police. This is a major, major thing. That is a what? A crisis, right? Pharaoh. I'm teaching. This is an emergency situation. This is a crisis. I need to teach my kids via online. That may not be the best example, y'all, but, you know, just had to come up with something on the fly. But yes, and then I've also included two synonyms, right? So here, if you can see it, it's emergency and disaster. And for crisis, there are actually a couple of other definitions that we could have listed um, and that's also provided in the video that you'll see that speaks on what crisis can also be. So yes, crisis is a time of serious difficulty or danger, but crisis more specifically can also be a moment that happens or a series of moments that happen right after a major disaster. For example, right now with the pandemic that is ha that's occurring due to the coronavirus or the COVID-19, due to that, we are in a crisis where people are scrambling, figuring out what they should do, what, to, what they should eat, where they're going to get certain supplies from, certain toiletries. Um, how can they travel to see family due to travel bans? Um, how can they eat? So it's all of these things that are happening. That's a crisis, right? It's a crisis. And for you all, seventh grade, you're in a, you have a really interesting module because you're focusing on an epidemic, which is similar to a pandemic, which we're currently undergoing. And if you have any questions about pandemic and epidemic, you can refer to the assignments and the materials that I have listed in Google Classroom. So we've gone over what our objective is, which is students will be able to formulate questions and observations through completing a notice and wonder chart regarding the text, Fever, 1793. Objective, we did our morning yoga, 